Welcome everyone. While it's possible to install the iOS 16 profile from Apple on the iPhone 7, because Apple does not support iOS 16 for your iPhone 7, in the software update page, nothing will show up. And so let's break down why you can't get iOS 16 on the iPhone 7 and what you can do to get iOS 16 features on the iPhone 7 running its last iOS, which is iOS 15. So as Apple did not support iOS 16 on the iPhone 7, when you go to the software update page, Apple realizes you have iPhone 7, so we're not gonna show the iOS 16. Now you may be thinking, well, if we spoofed our device to look like the iPhone 8, but the problem is, even if you got iOS 16 downloaded on the iPhone 7, because the drivers, and drivers is code which allows things like the touch to work, the screen to work, the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi to work, and because the drivers are different, the iOS 16 is just not going to install, or if it does install, you may not see the screen, you may not be able to use the touch. And so here is the deal. No one to this day has been able to port the drivers over for iOS 16 to the iPhone 7, and so there was just physically no way to install the software. However, there is some news for you. And so with the iPhone 5C, this phone never got iOS 6, but people were able to get iOS 6 running on the iPhone 5C. The problem is they could not get the touch drivers to work. Okay, that's something. On top of this, the iPod Touch fourth generation, I don't have one in front of me, that phone did not support iOS 7, but people were able to port iOS 7 to the iPod Touch 7. And the reason why this is possible is because another device with the same processor was able to run the newer software or the older one, and that's how the porting worked. And the good news is iOS 15, 16 even, and most likely iOS 17, is getting support from the iPad 6th and 7th generation. And these devices have the same A10 processor which the iPhone 7 has. And because we have a hardware flaw for the iPhone 7, in theory, thanks to the hardware flaw, thanks to an iPad or you know, another device running the newer software, it could be possible to get iOS 16 on the iPhone 7 using custom firmware. But there's just a couple of problems. And so the first problem is that the iPhone 6, this is an older iPhone, it also has a hardware flaw, and to this day, this older iPhone has not received a custom iOS 13, has not received a custom iOS 14, or custom iOS 15. And it's also possible for this device to get that as well. So that's the first problem. And because this older iPhone has not got some older software, this newer iPhone is most likely not going to get iOS 16, iOS 17, or iOS 18 for years. It could be years, which is not ideal, but that is just how it is. Okay, so if the iPhone 6 can't get custom firmware, this guy's older than the iPhone 7, so the iPhone 7 most likely will not get the newer software. On top of this, we have got Android. Yes, Android running on the iPhone 7, but the main problem is the drivers. If you install Android on iPhone 7, and it's a full install, it's own operating system, it doesn't run inside of iOS, there are no Wi-Fi drivers, uh, you know, there's no Bluetooth drivers, a lot of the drivers aren't supported. So if we got iOS 16 on the iPhone 7, there's a good chance that you know, the Wi-Fi may not work, you know, this may not work, that may not work. Um, you know, that's the problem. That is the problem. So I would not bet iOS 16, iOS 17, etc. will come on the iPhone 7 for a very long time, if ever. That's the breakdown. However, what you could do right now is you could jailbreak the iPhone 7. Okay, you can jailbreak it because it does have that hardware flaw. So this phone does have a jailbreak for life, which is, you know, that's nice. 
And then from there, you could get the iOS 16 features with jailbreak tweaks. What jailbreak tweaks do is they run code on top of the existing iOS code. So you could get the iOS 16 lock screen showing up. You know, you could get the iPhone 10 gestures. You could get, I mean, you can't get Face ID, but you could get a bunch of iOS 16 features, which were on the now iOS 16, you can pull them to iOS 15 of a jailbreak. So you will need to research how to jailbreak the iPhone 7. I don't have a tutorial, well, I used to, but I don't have any more. So you have to research that yourself. Once you jailbreak, you will need to research what iOS 16 feature you want. There's going to be a jailbreak tweak, which you can use. And then you're going to get iOS 16 features on the iPhone 7, which is pretty cool. So it's not the actual operating system, but it's the features. And so it will look somewhat similar. Uh, with that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.